Nityan and guys, welcome back to another episode of this wonderful series, Guru Disciple Relationship, The Ultimate. Um, which episode? Secret. <laughs> um, in this episode, I want to speak about a powerful cognition I got, which is quite subtle actually. Um, it happened during a discourse where Swamiji was initiating us into, uh, into relating to one God, uh, which is Ganesha. And um, he, was, he was sharing us the way to connect to Ganesha and that how he was sharing stories, how his guru gave him also the darshan of so many gods and all these things. I have realized a lot that people will feel more comfortable to connect with deities than to guru. And the reason being, uh, at least one thing that I realized also is that when the deity is there, it is, um, it is easier to cherish fantasies with the deity than with the guru. Because the guru is living and he responds to us directly in the way that we can, that the mind can grasp, whenever you are not aligned and cherishing a fantasy, then the guru can set that thing straight. But the deity, it will take more time for you to um, allow this pattern to be broken because the deity will not respond to you in a way that you necessarily grasp. And um, one important thing is that your guru will initiate you, initi initiate you in so many things, so many paths, so many, you know, engaging with so many gods and goddesses, so many rituals, all these things. But if you look, if you look at the fundamental reality, what is the reality behind all this? Is the source of all these things. People, we will have tendency to be comfortable, to, you know, once we get initiated to relate to Ganesha, then we'll relate to Ganesha. Once we get initiated to relate to Devi, we get connected to Devi. And like that, we will go around and experience different feeling connections with different gods. But what we, sometime, what we sometimes miss is that the source of all these experiences is the Guru. It is the Guru who is initiating us in all these paths. And even though sometimes we feel that the path is sweet, we forget that it is because of the Guru that this path has been made available to us in the first place. And that is why the Guru is very important in one's life so that you can align yourself and have a reality check with a being which is responding in a way that your mind cannot deny. And the mind is very good at denying. Even when the master is there, it successfully denies. So imagine when the master is not there, what are the chances that you will go beyond the powerlessness of the mind and reach the ultimate, close to none. That is why it is an endless cycle of birth and death and it takes millions and millions of lives for you to realize or to be blessed to have Guru Paramashiva in your life. So that's something I wanted to share in this story. So never forget, everything is there, you can access everything, but the source of all these things is always Guru. And that is why um, keeping and strengthening the feeling connection with the Guru is the best strategy to exist. So with this, I'll see you guys in another episode. Subscribe, like, leave a comment. Yes, Nidhyanandam.